In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Cubicraft models and the animation actions made in previous tutorials with the NLA editor to make a short animation. Open the file created in the previous tutorial. With the Iron Man armature selected, I'm going to the object properties and I'm going to give the armature a more meaningful name. I'm going to click the eye icon to hide the armature and click the plus to hide all the body parts to hide the Iron Man model. In the view menu I'm going to toggle quad view and zoom back with the mouse wheel in the top and the right view. Select the camera and I'm going to set all the location values and all the rotation values to zero. I want Spot to walk into the camera, so I'm going to move the camera and rotate it, R to rotate, minus 90 and enter, and the tip of the blue arrow to center Spock vertically in the camera view. I'm going to select a lamp and press G to grab and put that behind the camera in the right view and in the front view. Select the Spock armature and give it a meaningful name. Now at the moment the walk cycle action is linked to the armature. Now I want to set keyframes to move Spock towards the camera and at the same time loop through the keyframes of the walk cycle action. And the only way to do that is to use the NLA editor. So I'm dragging to make the bottom window bigger and I'm dragging on the white diagonal lines to create a new window and I'm going to make the new window an NLA editor. In the NLA editor window we see the keyframes that make up the walk cycle. If I click the snowflake icon button it will convert the keyframes into an action strip and remove the keyframes from the timeline. So when I click the button we get an action strip in its own track and the keyframes are removed. But if I press play we still get the animation coming from the NLA editor. Now that we've cleared the timeline, I'm going to insert the keyframes to move Spock towards the camera. I'm going to set the total length of the animation to 150 frames. To set up a keyframe, you go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. So I'm going to rewind to frame 1, make the change. I'm dragging on the tip of the green arrow to move Spock's armature. And I'm going to right click on the Y location and insert a single keyframe. I'm zooming back in the NLA editor window and I'm going to pan, hold down shift and drag with the middle mouse button. Go to frame 100. Make the change, I'm going to set the Y location to 0 and insert keyframe, right click, single keyframe, rewind and play. And Spot moves towards the camera. Spock accelerates and decelerates, but his legs waggle at a constant speed. So I'm going to open a graph editor window, and in the key menu, I'm going to change the interpolation mode to linear, and back to 3D view. And the walk cycle doesn't loop or repeat, so I'm going to click the plus to open up the properties of the NLA editor. I'm scrolling down to the properties of the action clip, and there is a repeat setting, which I'm going to change to 6. And if I press play now, Spot moves at a constant speed with the walk cycle repeating. I'm going to click the snowflake button to convert the keyframes that move Spock into an action strip. I'm going to select the new track and move to the end frame. I'm going to the add menu, add action strip. I'm going to search for and select the standing still action. I'm going to select the action, press G to grab and move it to the end. Now if I press play, the standing still takes priority over the walk action because it's in a higher track. And even when the action has stopped, if I go to the properties of the action strip, because extrapolation is hold forward, it still takes priority over the walk cycle. I want to add the wave action and at the current frame on the currently selected track there is room for the action but I want the action to start at frame 20 so I'm left clicking frame 20 add 
action strip search for and select the wave action and the wave action is put in a new track now if I rewind and play Spock walks along waves and then stops next I'm going to animate Iron Man but I'll show you how to do that in part two of the tutorial